awkward to stand here because neither language is my area nor particularly the comparative literature. I may not be able to contribute anything to as far as the comparative literature is concerned. But surely as Catherine has already set the tone, she is an economist, I am a mathematician. I think from that point of view, if I begin, from the department itself, you know, though it is a growing department, it is a young, very young department, but looking from the kind of contribution and the faculty in the department, it is comparable to any good department, at least in India, you know. And I'm hoping much more from the department in near future, in the form of getting some kind of additional assistance from the University Grants Commission in the form of SAP, et cetera. There has been a suggestion that it may be a center for comparative literature. And I, I do not know whether I'm crossing, uh, as I said, I'm not an expert in this area, but if it is a center for advanced studies in literature, that would sound much better and that encompasses much many more areas here, you know, basically. And I would like the department to consider to become a next four or five years. It is not so easy to become center for advanced studies in English literature, you know. I think this uh, Shagufta also mentioned about the some similarity between the two societies, Indian society and American society, you know. Multiculturalism is uh, part of, very much part of Indian society and cultural composition of the society are by and large the same, you know. This is, we have many, many, many. There's been a suggestion that it may be a center for comparative literature. And I, I do not know whether I'm crossing, uh, as I said, I'm not an expert in this area. But if it is a center for advanced studies in literature, that would sound much better and that encompasses much many more areas here, you know, basically. And I would like the department to consider to become a next four or five years. It is not so easy to become center for advanced studies in English literature, you know. I think this uh, Shagufta also mentioned about the some similarity between the two societies, Indian society and American society. You know. Multiculturalism is uh, part of, very much part of Indian society and cultural composition of the society are by and large the same, you know. This is, we have many, many, many cultures and can be defined in many ways, uh, regional, language, linguistic, and so many other ways of looking at varying cultures in India. But off and on, I think in every day we listen, we one India, one wish to win the match, cricket match, whenever there's a cricket match. We always remember India as one, you know, when there's a cricket match, to join our efforts to support the Indian team to win the match. <laughs> Just see my students, how close they are to, to their heart. Uh, I, I would say one thing, you see, because this, as I said that two societies share some similarity. The difference might be that uh, America is most advanced country and we are still developing country, you know, still developing country. We have not yet attained a, a status of a developed country. But I think a collaboration between two countries as far as, for a, for a limited purpose, you know, limited purpose of literature or comparative literature, if there can be a joint project between uh, my department of English and your council, I think that would be a better idea and I, <clears throat> I hope that you will also look into this aspect and that would carry our relationship far, far away from here. And I think that is, this is one, another way, this is another way of looking at things, how to keep the bonds intact and continuing, you know, this is. I was very uh, attentively listening to Professor Abna Kishore trying to understand what she is saying. But let me admit, I hardly understood anything out of <laughs> it. might be, it might be that those who are sitting here, I think is very beneficial, 
But I'm sure that what she talked about is, uh, one thing I noticed very closely is that uh, <clears throat> when you talk of the comparative literature, you know, that could be across the countries, and that could be across the languages, you know, languages, you know. And I, I, for one, feel I think both aspects should be taken into consideration when we think about the comparative literature. I am a person of teacher education, and when we study comparative education, it is across the countries, particularly across the countries and across the cultures. You know. uh, since uh, Kadri Sahib has mentioned about the journal, I think the English department I, is not advice, you know, it is, it is a suggestion. Sustaining a good journal, you know, it's a very difficult task, you know, very, very difficult task. And if you bring out once and then it discontinued, it leaves a very bad taste, you know, as you see. I, I wish that they should reconsider about bringing out a regular journal rather than I would suggest that there should be a regular annual magazine for the department and for this kind of seminars, this is the third seminar in the sequence, you may bring out a nice book based on the research papers for the seminar, you know. So this is just for the, your reconsideration. Even the, still you insist on the journal, I don't have any problem on that, this is a suggestion. Uh, as I think that is uh, the interest of this university is particularly the language, Urdu language, you know. And the study of the language and languages together, I think is a good ground for studying the various components of different languages also, you know. Incidentally, I'm also heading the English and Foreign Language University. A good collaboration between the universities would surely help not only the faculty to grow, even the subject to grow. You know. With these few words, I, I wish the three-day seminar, two-day seminar, a grand success. I'm sure the students of English department would also benefit by the presence of so many participants from outside Hyderabad. And uh, I think it is very, uh, though I made a statement about Professor Amna Kishore's paper, but it is, I thought I have been educated a lot about comparative literature by his. And I'm sure that keynote address, I'm sorry that I will have to leave you, Nafzal Sahib, keynote address will surely throw a light and give a foundation to, particularly to students about the comparative literature. And I thank the organizers for inviting me for such a nice inauguration, and again I wish the two-day seminar, a grand success. Thank you very much.